What's up guys? So is your PC shutting down, locking up, or moving slow during intense task? Well, your CPU overheating could be the problem. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to monitor your computer's CPU temperature and lower it if needed. Let's get into it. All right, guys, let's head on over to alcpu.coretemp slash coretemp. The link to this site will be in the description below. Once you're here, you're going to see the latest version of coretemp. As the recording of this video is 1.17.1. Go ahead and click on download and your download should start. Once it's done, let's go up to the top right. Click on the three little dots, select downloads, show in folder. We can lower the browser and let's drag our core temp setup to the desktop. Exit out. Now let's go ahead and open that setup. You can't see my screen right now because my user account control came up. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Click yes. Welcome to core temp setup. Next. Go ahead and select I accept the agreement. Next. Let's go ahead and select where would we like to have core temp installed. I'm going to go ahead and leave it on my C drive, but if you would like to change this, go ahead and select browse and you can select whatever drive, SSD, hard drive, wherever on your computer you would like to install core temp. Next. Select additional task. Now by default, create a desktop shortcut will be checked. And just to let you guys know, core temp will be running in the background whenever you start your computer. Build your kingdom with good game empire. Go ahead and uncheck this. And under languages, by default, installed additional language packs will be checked. This is good if you don't speak English. Let's go ahead and select next. And let's go ahead and install. Now it's going to give you some information about all of the CPUs that work with core temp and the dates that they were available to work with core temp. You guys can read through this if you would like next. And let's uncheck view reading finish. Now, as you can see, it displays all the information about your CPU. As in my case, my model is a i7 7700. I have four cores and eight threads. At the bottom, it shows the load on each core as well as the temperature. Now let's go up to options. Settings. Leave everything that's checked, checked. But let's go ahead and check start core temp with Windows. Now let's go over to display. Here, let's check start core temp minimized and close temp to notification area. This way, if you ever close core temp, it will still be running in the background. Now let's go to notification area. Under notification icons, you can leave all cores checked, but I prefer to check highest temperature. This way, if you have a four core, eight core, 16 core processor, it'll only show the cores with the highest temperature. It won't show the ones with the lower temperatures. Now let's go ahead and select text. Here we can change the color of core temps text that will be displayed on our taskbar. I'm gonna change it to red. Okay. And we can also change the font by going to select font and I'm gonna change this to bold. Okay. Now we're finished. Go ahead and select apply and then okay. Now let me show you guys something that want extra protection. Let's go up to options, overheat protection. Go ahead and select enable overheat protection. Under settings, you have activate at specified temperature. Go ahead and select that. And now we can type in whatever degrees we want our CPU to shut off at. I'm gonna say 85 degrees. So at 85 degrees, we will be alerted that our CPU has reached 85 degrees and our computer will take action on it. Now the notification you will get will be displayed right here. You have balloon pop-up or flash core temp at taskbar. By default, it's on balloon pop-up. So that means if you're in the middle of a game and your CPU reaches 85 degrees, you will get a pop-up letting you know that your CPU is now running at 85 degrees. Now what action you want your computer to take when it reaches that certain degrees, you'll have to come down here in the shutdown options and select enable. Now your computer can go to sleep, it can hibernate, and it can power down 
and you select after you get that balloon pop up do you want 30 seconds you can change this to 10 seconds or 15 seconds so after you get that alert your computer will either hibernate shut down and it will go to sleep i'm going to leave it on sleep and 30 seconds after the pop up it can go to sleep you guys can select whatever you like go ahead and select okay now we can exit out of core temp and as you can see, the highest cores temperature is displayed in your taskbar. Now, if you would like to reopen core temp, just click on the temperature. Now, if you would like to have all of your cores displayed, let's go back up to options, settings, notification area, and we're gonna change it from the highest temperature to all cores. Apply, okay, exit back out, and now you see we have all the cores displayed. In my case, four cores. Thank you guys for watching. I hope the video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.